All right, guys, this is how we package these. I don't typically make a video of this part. And of course, this is for the last minute touch up that we inevitably always have to do. If you look at aluminum wrong, it'll scratch. So we gotta buff a lot of little minute scratches out all the time. So I'm gonna show you a couple things we do. Number one, we use these Canadian made uh, Nanook boxes for shipping. Now this one's not being shipped. The customer's coming to pick it up. Uh, but these are nice boxes to give it in. This is the Red Cross edition. Uh, I'm sorry, the first aid kit edition. So we do this because if you don't have a good place to hide it, you can uh, leave this anywhere. I don't know that anybody's ever broken into a house and stolen what they think to be a first aid kit. So we do a couple things. Number one, um, setting this on just about any surface can scratch it. So we cut a little piece of this and stick it behind here. So this is what you'll use to set it on. And we hide it because it's not sexy, but it's that white foam is much softer than this foam. So how we load these up is, you now this guy's picking it up in person. So normally I would stuff a towel like this, a super soft 500 GSM microfiber and a tub of uh, Mother's aluminum polish. Uh, I would typically stuff that in the brick. If it's a 50,000 or bigger, the smaller ones, it won't fit. Um, this guy's not going to, I know he's gonna be delivering this full of cash. So I'm just gonna give him a separate bag with that stuff in it. And then of course his tool as well. So, and I always make sure uh, this is not the sexiest foam, but this will not scratch uh, the aluminum. It doesn't leave any marks on it. It's actually really nice. So we trim this down to fit perfectly in here. We've already bolted the brick together. We've done all the final polishing. It's basically flawless at this point. Um, it's been gone over, I don't know how many times, a lot of times, but it's beautiful. So we'll put it like this, get it nice and centered. Make sure it's beautiful, it is. The tool, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tool in the box. Let me find my bag, wherever I put my bag. Chuck, where, there it is. And this tool has been polished and it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's a work of art in itself. I like to keep this for two reasons. Number one, I don't want it bouncing around. And number two, uh, everything should be in a package. And the tough part about what we do is everything we make is pretty much one of a kind or, you know, really, really custom. So that means, you know, we're not making a thousand of the same of anything. So making a custom box for each uh, could get very, very expensive. So I'm going to fold this down here. I'm going to slip the tool. Actually, I got that a little bit too far back. I'm going to slip the tool back behind this between the foam and the aluminum. Because as I said, I don't want to scratch this. So that fit just fine right down there. So when the customer gets this, I want them to open this up, take this out, set the white piece of foam down. I'm going to give him some white gloves as well so he doesn't fingerprint the crap out of it. And then just reach in, grab it, set on the white thing. He's going to load it with cash, however he does that. He can use this to set it on too once he gets it out. So there we go. He'll get white gloves as well. This is a tight fit. Uh oh. Oh, duh. Yeah, you have to have the latches open. That's my sound for duh. So just give it a good smash. It's not getting scratched in there. It's a perfect fit. This weighs a lot now, it's gonna be, so he's gonna show up with this as a gift, which is gonna be very cool. And then of course he'll open it up. And guy, as tempted as you're gonna be to take this out and leave it, don't do that, please. If this foam rubs this, I promise you it's gonna scratch it. You're gonna be back the next day saying, hey J.E., uh, this has scratches on it. I'm gonna say, sure, give me 200 bucks and I'll repolish the whole thing again. So don't do that. So that's it. Take this out, expose the white foam, set it down, 
take it out, set on the beautiful foam. And actually, if you're gonna disassemble it, take this all the way out and just lay this out and put both halves like that. That would be easiest, I promise. Okay. All right, here we go. And when you're done, just drop it back in. You need a little bit of a grip to do this because this is very slippery. We'll give the customer this. We'll give them some polish. We'll give them white gloves. And we will bag up a very nice, brand new, beautiful towel. In fact, since he got the Red Cross one, I will give him a red towel. Get me a, uh, uh, like, one of our larger thick bags. Might uh, Maybe a license plate bag would be good for this. So I'll give him a nice, soft, brand new, super plush, deluxe, grandiose, super soft towel. So this will be his kit, so to speak. So we'll drop the polish in. Always make sure it's tight. It comes off, it's a big freaking mess. Don't do that. Do a set of gloves. And this is a premium package. If you get a raw brick and you're like, hey man, I just wanna store cash in my backyard, I'm gonna bury it. I'm not gonna go through all this for you. Unless you wanna do that, then it's just a waste of money. So. All right, that's it. This is how the bricks get delivered. Boom, there we go.